This video series is going to be dedicated to Andrew Wyatt, and that's because I want to be fair with him. Okay. All this came about because I uploaded a video entitled My Further Response to Marijuana Part 2. Now, why did I upload the video? That's because Andrew Wyatt sent an article to me about marijuana. And I read that article. And the hyperlink to that particular article will be down here in the description below. Okay, that'll be the very first hyperlink you're going to see. All right. Now, when I read that article, as I was reading the article, I found a hyperlink to a second article, which, of course, I read. And the hyperlink to that second article will be down here below as well. When I read the second article, I found a hyperlink to a University of Minnesota research study. Well, at the time, they were charging $40 to give you authorization to read it. Well, of course, I didn't have $40 at the time, so I wasn't able to get access to it. But that did not stop me from uploading my video, which was entitled, My Further Response to Marijuana Part 2. When I uploaded the video, this is the response that Andrew White gave to me. The study was actually on 35 non-smokers and 35 smokers, totaling 70 students. Okay. You did leave out the point of this quote made by the researchers. Marijuana users were high-functioning, demonstrating comparable IQs to controls. In case you are unfamiliar with the term control group, that means non-pot smokers, and relatively better processing speed. Motivation was never mentioned in the articles studying marijuana users. You claim to be a speed reader, but after this video, I doubt you can read. I'm sorry, but your research skills seem to be subpar. You lost me as a, as a subscriber. This is what he told me. Well, after reading that, I decided to contact a friend of mine. And this friend of mine had access to this article. And he gave it to me. Right here it is. So I read the whole thing from front to back. And I have been doing lots of research on this. That is why I have not posted a whole lot of videos lately. Okay. As a matter of fact, if you people have been watching my YouTube channel ever since I popped up this little video, you have been seeing various psychological tests being described on my YouTube channel. And that was a precursor to this particular presentation. So I will be referring to those videos as I continue my discussion. Okay. So to be fair to Andrew Wyatt, I'm going to go through this step by step. I promised him I would do this, so I'm going to go ahead and do this, and I'm going to go through it step by step, telling you exactly what's in this University of Minnesota research study. No ifs, no ands, no sugar coating, no nothing. Exactly what these people said, I will now cover on here. Now, the good news is that they have declassified this research study, and I'm going to leave a link to that down here below as well. And you guys can actually read this for yourselves, and I highly encourage you to do so. Okay. Whew. That's a lot of stuff so far. Anyway... I'm going to stop this video right here. This is going to be part one, and we're going to have a part two and a part three and a part probably 647 before it's all said and done. But we're going to cover this thing front to back all the way through. I do encourage everybody to go back through my videos and check out those uh, psychological test videos so that you'll have a common frame of reference of what was being done in this research study. Okay? I will tell you more in my next video. Stay tuned.